Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You took some risks along the way and it paid off. That's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We have the matches for the showcase lined up. Paragon is facing Hector, and you'll be going up against Chase. And don't repeat this, but that should set you up to look good in front of the GMs. Yeah, about that road dog. See, I was thinking about his first day. Oh no, it's never good when you're thinking. I know, I know. I was thinking about how he called me out and beat me. It was definitely a statement win for sure. But what I'm getting at is, how about instead of taking another shortcut at the showcase, you face me again instead. You beat me once when I wasn't prepared. But can you do it again in a high-stakes situation? This time, when I'm ready. Just think about this for a second, okay? A win over HPK could open a lot of doors. But that's no easy task. Chase is the safer bet, but, but definitely wouldn't impress the GMs as much. I'd be happy to beat you again. Good. But technically, you have to beat me again twice. It's gonna be a two out of three falls match. That's great and all, guys, but now I need to find a new opponent for Chase, and that's gonna turn into a whole thing. Not that that's your problem. Anyway, before I forget, the GMs want the full presentation for the showcase, so you're going to get to wear the gear you designed a while back. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, kid. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's funny, because I think they're actually showing up to see me. Who are you even facing anyway? I heard Shawn Michaels? Yeah, I'm going to beat him again and show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Are you an idiot? You had the chance to face Chase, which would have been a walk in the park and a guaranteed contract offer. But instead, you chose to face a motivated Mr. WrestleMania who's out for revenge. A win over HBK will punch my ticket to anywhere I want to go in WWE. Yeah, and a loss will do nothing. Well, that's why I'm not going to lose.
I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Shawn Michaels, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. I've always wanted to compete on Monday nights, so I accept your offer. That's it? You're not even going to ask about your pay? I already did my negotiating in the ring. Fair enough. We'll send you the paperwork. 
Don't make me regret this. Hey, I heard you're going to Raw. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. But maybe we'll cross paths again sometime in the future. Never say never around here. That's right. Buena suerte. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing on Raw, but without the lame attitude and nickname. Wait, you got signed to Raw? Yeah, I actually had offers from all three GMs. Did you not see me beat a WWE Hall of Famer twice? No, I did. I just thought they would recognize it was a total fluke like I did. But I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. I'm really gonna miss you. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Did you really think you'd get signed? Wake up, man. You've been the weakling since we started here, and your unrealistic outlook only makes things worse. You really think that? Look, I'm not saying you're dead in the water, but... Consider today a reality check. Three of us were signed and you weren't. If you're ever going to make it, something needs to change, and that's on you. Maybe it's not me. Maybe someone's trying to hold me back. Or maybe they just didn't like my look. I can change that easy. I do still have that rib costume. Chase, look in the mirror. It's none of that other stuff. It's you. I gotta go clean out my locker. See you around. Well, you got the better of me again. I'd like to think it would have been a different story 25 years ago, but who knows? Yeah, it probably would have since you'd be wrestling a baby. I get it. I'm ancient. Look, I heard you're going to Raw. Play your cards right, I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. the arrival of the newest addition to Monday Night's. GM Mandy Rose and the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the Red Brand. Then we'll talk.
it's no secret that I have a soft spot for the more mean-spirited competitors on the roster. It's actually my birthday next week. As a special treat, wondering if you could take out one of Raw's more honorable superstars in a no-DQ match? I swear I won't tell anyone it's for me. This is going to be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Beverly Hills, California. Weighing in at 290 pounds, Max the Savage. I have to give this guy props. He was told he'd never leave the shows in the school gyms and community centers. That he was, quote, good for his hometown. Well, he risked everything in his life to get here. He had no plan B. It was make it to WWE or nothing. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. A man who truly is always ready for a fight. And his opponent, representing the Street Profits from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Angelo Dawkins. See ya. All right, just sit there and be miserable. Whether it's in a tag team, whether it's singles competition, Angelo Dawkins always comes prepared to compete and have a good time. Listen to this place. <laughs> These people are going nuts. As if this match wasn't compelling enough. When you throw in the no disqualification stipulation, it gets even better. These competitors can use barricades, steel stairs, announce tables, heck, even outside interference. Nothing is off limits here, and they will let their imaginations run wild. You're right, Corey. This is hardcore all the way, and the WWE Universe can't get enough of it. Half and half suplex lights out. Slides back into the ring. Into the ring now. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. Consecutive attacks keeping Dawkins off his game. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Gotta find a way back in this. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Oh, the 
substantial distance. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, right to the kidneys. This is gonna be ugly, no doubt about it. Slingshot, Capitator! Just punched him right in the mouth, oh, relentless. God. Enough already. Catches a punch. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Dawkins yeah. with impressive moves. Yeah, Dawkins isn't giving any quarter now. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Oh, he's absorbed some damage already. Oh. 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 One wicked attack after another. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Oh, look at this aggression. Just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. German suplex. But that's not all. And he ripped toward Larry. And what a combination. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Gotta find a way back in this. He may be in a bad way here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. He's setting this table up and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Caught the leg. That was impressive. Just thrown away. Stomping. win for him here. This really felt like it was about more than just winning. This was about making a statement, putting everyone in the division on notice. And that statement was they're here to win, Saxton.